we have ran from the bottom of Park Lane, Zach in a shirt and suit trousers to catch this 918. What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and today I'm going to answer a question that I get asked a lot on Twitter and Instagram and that question is when is the best time to find supercars in London? Not only when but where. So today I'm starting off at midday in central London in the hope that I can find some cars. Over the last five to six years, I have been coming into London pretty much every summer to check out some of the cars that are coming over from Dubai, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and those sorts of places. And basically, over time, I start to realize when is the best time, but also where is the best time to see these cars. And right now, Mayfair, and the top of Knightsbridge is probably the best place to see these cars. They are going to be parked up, they're probably just chilling at their hotels. And then later on, fingers crossed, some pretty awesome supercars should come out to play and we can combine the afternoon and evening to show you how the atmosphere changes in both Mayfair and Knightsbridge. So the time is quarter past 12 in the afternoon. There is absolutely no activity. This is just a working day in central London. It's crazy busy, just with no supercars, and I've barely seen any parked up either, so I'm not sure how this half of the video is gonna go, to be honest. So here we go, Porsche dealership. Nothing too crazy. And Berkeley Square is over there. Lots of black executive cars. Aha, 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 488 in black. Outside the Porsche dealership. So far, it's boring. This is like by far the best Aventador SV Roadster I've seen. ADV1s, blue lip, blue calipers, stunning. And it's crazy loud. Carbon fiber roof. I've just come from the Dorchester and walked a matter of meters and I come across Bugatti Veyron and a white F12. This is pretty crazy. So it would be fair to say that during the day, London, even in the summer, sun sometimes isn't that good for finding supercars. AMG is parked, met up with Zach again, he's just come from work and we are now gonna go and check out some cars. It's coming up to half past six. This is when things get a little bit busier. So this time yesterday, around midday, there was an F12 and a Bugatti Veyron here. They might still be here, but we are going into central Mayfair, around Berkeley Square, because apparently there is a world record edition Bugatti Veyron Supersport that is coming today. So I need to go and see that car. So we're gonna go and hunt it down. Are they still here? Yep. Slightly parked differently. This is where I walked down yesterday, and now, this is parked here. Yeah, 
<laughs> we have ran from the bottom of Park Lane, Zach in a shirt and suit trousers to catch this 918. Oh, and now it's stuck in traffic. But it's too warm to run. So we have covered what happens during the day, midday, one o'clock, there's a hurricane there, go and check that out. Um, and we've also covered what happens six, seven, eight, nine p.m. We are now losing light and it is time to finish the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed uh, this sort of, I don't really know what to call it basically, it's just an insight into what time supercars come out in central London. It is not really during the day, it's more in the evening time. So if you want to come and check out the supercars in London, Knightsbridge, Harrods, Sloan Street, 6 p.m. onwards, you're gonna see some cars like that. Lamborghini Huracan, Porsche 918. We got very lucky with the Bugatti Veyron Super Sport World Record Edition. That's normally not out. Um, but yeah, it's been a pretty cool video. Hopefully you've enjoyed this, and if you are looking to come into central London, then uh, make sure you say hi, because I'm probably going to be here. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up. Oh, and also say hi to Zach as well. Uh, <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't already. I look forward to seeing you very soon. Ooh, very spooky. Is this the ghost of Michael Jackson? Ooh.